Today we are at the Legend Cook House and joining me today is my lovely wife Sati and she would be leading the cooking with us here today. Today we will be featuring the pepper shrimp dish that we do here at the Legend Cook House. And pepper shrimp dish is one of the most popular dish we do here at the Legend Cook House. Over the last 20 years, we were, we made over 50,000 pepper shrimp dish here at the Legend Cook House. And we serve it mainly with our fried rice, lao mein, chow mein, as an appetizer. Uh, so today we are going to show you the secret we use here at the Legend Cookhouse and share with you our ledge, our secret sauce that you can make this pepper shrimp dish right there in your home anytime you want, anywhere, anytime. So let's get started and we are going to lead you through all the ingredients we use and the process of cooking this wonderful tasty delicious pepper shrimp dish so first of all let me show you that we are using at the legend cookhouse we're using the jumbo shrimp right jumbo shrimp is what we use here is the 1620 shrimp and these are the tiger shrimp so what we will do I, I'm going to do the hard work. I'm going to do the cleaning. Pull this dish. Mm -hmm. And so what we do, first of all, I like to take this sharp edge on the tail first and I break it out. And then I kind of keep the tail section with a piece of the shell and then I kind of break them apart. And then I come up with this lovely pieces of shrimp and then what I would do uh, I would split the back with a knife and then remove the vein that's in the back of this sh shrimp so we continue to do that with all the shrimp that we have um, well we, of course we do this way ahead of time and then we you know complete the process and here we have some of these shrimp that is already peeled, deveined, and ready to cook. So let's start the cooking. So I'm going to start my stove up and and then so this is a stove that we get a so I get my my pan on and I am going to let it hot up and then we are going to let our lead cook show you what we do. So we're going to add the oil in and let it hot. Mm -hmm. So we add some oil in there and we are going to cook the shrimp and of course I don't need to tell everybody how to cook a sh this shrimp. This shrimp is usually have its own thermometer in it. When it become reddish, we know that this the, 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 it is finished. So what I do, I test the oil to see if it's hot. And it looks like it is hot. Yeah, so I put one piece of scallion in there and I kind of have it. So now I'm gonna just put my shrimp in there and uh, I'm going to start cooking. And as as you can see, the shrimp, as it's been cooked, it started to change color. So while this is cooking, right, I am going to show you the ingredients we use to make this dish. So we have here is some nice, beautiful sweet pepper, right? So we get the red sweet pepper, then we get the green sweet pepper, right? 
green and the red sweet pepper. Um, we have it already prepped in an effort to save time. And we let me show you quickly how we how we prep them while this shrimp is being cooked. So I cut the head out, right, and then I pull, I pull, so I can get all the all the seed and everything out, and then I would split it in two, remove some of the veins, so I can get a nice, beautiful presentation. And I keep, so a lot of times what I'll do, I will hit it so that all the loose seed would be out. So I don't wanna have too much of that in my dish. Is, uh, of course we want a very nice presentation so we kind of always cut the pepper in a size that we can handle and we always want to make it in the shape of the food so I am for this I'm going to gauge the width of the shrimp and that's the, the width I'm going to use for the pepper so I cut it up this way and and that's because we have already prepped we don't have to go through the whole prepping process to show you how we prep and then we do the same exact thing with the and then the shrimp is all done i'm going to show you how how it is so this is the shrimp it's been cooked like this and it's all finished because we don't want to overcook it so that it gets too tough. So we kind of take that fire off and I will take the shrimp and I'll put it in a container. Right, so I, I remove it from the heat so I stop the cooking process because I immediately would be cooking, would we start cooking my pepper shrimp dish. So I would start this over and here we go we have that going there um in an effort to save time what i'll do i probably use the same oil since it's hot already so i'm going to just make sure that i don't put too much of the crumbs in there and make sure i get nice clean clear oil so i have so this pot i'm finished with this right so now as as that is being, as the pot is getting heat up and the oil was already hot so what we will do now is we will season this oil make it nice and seasoned so we put some we'll put some nice garlic in there so we put some garlic any way you want it you put but, Right? And then I forgot to tell you in order for you to get a nice taste, sometimes we put thin, thinly sliced ginger. So we kind of don't bite onto the ginger because ginger can have a strong, strong flavor. So I usually make it into a small, very small pieces, a very little amount just for the flavor. And that's what how we kind of I will drop it in there as well. Then I'll drop my I'm putting in some minced garlic because I like to have a lot more garlic in the food so that it brings the aroma out and it goes good with the dish that we are about to eat. So I just add some dice onion so you don't have to put that in I just put it in to build the build up the menu build up the food you know to create different bite in your food so we would start to put the peppers in here and I put them so that they can roast a little bit so that's why I put them and they're not gonna be overcooked because we want to have them nice and crunchy. So we put the red and the green pepper. Now we apply some 
onions. So we just in charge of get some onions in there and we cook them the same way, roast them up um, and let. So this dish you want to have it have a nice colorful pretty appearance. And as that is going, we are going to tell you this is the way we cook these meals here at the Legend Cookhouse here on, on, in Rock, on Rockaway Boulevard and it's the same way we cook at the Legend Restaurant Lounge in Orlando, Florida. It's the same exact process so we can achieve the same exact taste and when you cook this at your home we want you to have the same exact taste. So, we are going to introduce to you the main bad boy, the secret ingredients that we use in the restaurant is this, is this sauce. This here is a very tasty, versatile sauce that you can get, you can use and get your food tasting the same exact way every single time. So remember, on the, these sauces are on the market now. They are at your local grocery stores. We have them in many, many grocery stores right here in Queens. And we are working to get them out to other places. Uh, so, as we can start to smell this beautiful aroma coming out of the vegetables that we are using, which is the red pepper, green pepper, the onions, and we put some garlic in there, and ginger, and now we are going to put some of the, then we're gonna add the shrimp. So, now, this is, it's looking very nice. If you guys can look and see, the vegetables is, coming on nicely so what I'll do is just add some black pepper in it you know keep building a nice flavor to everything and uh, let me tell you again that we have many of these sauce to make the exact food that we make here at the restaurant and you can make it at your home so the pepper shrimps sauce is what is all we need at this stage to go into this meal so we would put the pepper shrimp you you can just pour it in or measure it right but because this is one of the sauce that we have to use it and we use it a lot of it because Depends on if we're making an appetizer or we're making to go with a meal. That's if we're going to make it to go with a meal, we're going to add some more. So because you want it to have more liquidy or you want to have the gravy looking on it. And if I'm going to want to make it into a appetizer, then what we will do is we will thicken. We will thicken the same exact portion of the pepper shrimp and we would create a, a thicker version of the pepper shrimp and we add some cornstarch in it. So this is how we do it at the restaurant and there's no secret in this. Uh, we, we, we want you to learn, we want you to know what we do at the restaurant and how we derive at the meals that we serve here at the restaurant and we are doing that <coughs> by this is the, the aroma from the food it's it's um it's causing me to have this little choking <coughs> it's nice aroma is coming out of the food it's it's been done right here at the Legend Cookhouse, we are cooking outside of the kitchen. It's at the bar at the Legend Cookhouse, and at the oh, cut up eat already. Uh, so what we do is we don't want this vegetable to overcook. We like it to have a little bit of crunchiness to it. So 
because you don't want to have like a, a boring chew to your meal. So when you get that crunchy, crunchy. So it's all done, this meal, and we. You, you, you can go ahead and you can garnish it. It has a lot of green, it has a lot of. How we make our pepper shrimp dish right here at the Legend Cookhouse. And when you look at. So we make it first, and then you can see how this sauce. If you take your finger and you run it through, run it through like this, you can see that nice line, knowing that the sauce is beautiful. In this way, you know it's gonna coat the food nicely. And as you can see, we have many more, many other sauces on the market. We teach you guys before how to make the fried rice. We teach you how to make the lao mein. And we t today we're teaching you how to make the pepper shrimp dish, and everything is go can pull together by using this nice hot pepper to pour all over your meal and get enough get as much heat as you want in any one of your meal, your fried rice, your chow mein, your lao mein or any other meal that you would like to have. You can take this bottle along with you and it's a nice presentable bottle. You can take it to your, to your job, you can take it anywhere and it's convenient enough to take it even to a restaurant when some, somewhere you go and you know that they're not going to give you the food that has the preferred heat that you're looking for or the preferred hotness of the pepper, take this with you and introduce and you can also introduce it to your friends and family to tell them and show them how tolerant you are to this hot. Um, right here we have a presentation of some of our meals that we cook before using the other sauces. And this is the fried rice dish. A lot of times we'll put, we'll plate the fried rice. The fried rice and then you get the lo mein. These are used, these are made using these sauces. This is used ma making the fried rice sauce. And this is making the lo mein sauce. And today we are using the pepper shrimp sauce to make today's pepper shrimp dish. So we're gonna put this away for now. Yeah, but we need the uh, a plate like this. Can you have an appetizer plate? You mean a big one like this? No, no, not a big one, any appetizer plate. Now these are small, so. Anyway, while they go and get the plates, we are going to, yeah. So I don't like to keep it too long on the fire like that because then it gets soggy and I, I like to have the vegetable nice and crunchy and like I said before, our lovely pepper shrimp dish is all done uh, and ready to plate. So it's a short presentation as to how we cook here and make our meals at the Legend Cookhouse and we are showing it here to to, sh to show you guys that you can make this food right there at your home using these wonderful sauce that we have created and to show how nice and easy it is to make the food so so I'm going to show you how we played this food right here at the legend cookhouse and the legend restaurant lounge it created the same way and we kind of put the vegetables in the bottom this is how we would do on the appetizer and then we then we will put the nice beautiful shrimp that we have on the top and this is a wonderful presentation 
of our pepper shrimp dish that we have here, right here at the Legend Cook House. And we made it right, nice and easy, using the Legend Cook House Chef's Gourmet Pepper Shrimp Sauce. And show you that you could make this food quickly, anywhere, anytime you want, once you have this sauce available into your, at your home. So, that is going to be our presentation for today, and we thank every one of you for watching, and you can order this lovely meal here at the Legend Cookhouse, at the Legend Restaurant Lounge in Orlando, or you can buy the sauce and make this meal at your home and anytime you want. So that's it from us here now. That's it from the Legend Cookhouse. And this is a presentation of cooking at Legend. Uh, should we get somebody to taste? You want us to get a taster? Let me look around and find it. Anyone of you guys would like to taste something that we just cooked? Come, come, if you want to taste, come. Come, come. So we find this nice gentleman here. Danny, I know him for a long time. I have seen him here at the restaurant and he's gonna taste the pepper shrimp dish that we just made and he's gonna tell us what he think. I just went there and pick and find him and he will be here and you just tell us what you think about this dish right here that we just made. Mm, very good. Very tasty. A lot of flavors. Thank you, Rook. Yeah, exactly. And I do recommend this uh, the shrimp, pepper shrimps. So plenty, many of you know Danny. Danny is a popular cricketer around this community uh, for what, almost 40 years now, Danny? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so we, I know him, Danny almost that much time because we were young cricketers in this community for all these years and I find him in the front there look, trying to get some food. So he's here, he's tasting and I'm going to try to get somebody else in the meantime. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I do recommend this. Thanks again. Thank you very much. It is tasty. Love it. Thanks again. What is your food, man? Great, great. Uh, great, cool. Yeah. You look that yeah. right. So we're gonna wrap today's show up. Uh, Mark tastes the chow mein the last time and now he's back here again for another tasting so we're gonna give mark another chance of tasting this dish again he was here last week tasting the chow mein dish and he loved the dish so he's coming every week now for the cooking show <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah man legend Cookhouse have the best pepper shrimp you guys can ever taste. Mm. Believe me. If you don't come here and taste this, you never gonna know. Mm. Cause when you come here and you taste this, you definitely have to make it for yourself with the sauce that he produced here. It's very good. I can tell anybody, you never regret eating this pepper shrimp. Always good. So, so Mark. And we had Danny tasted our food here today. Mm -hmm. And we are going to call it a wrap because you know we want we, you know we just want to demonstrate to you guys how easy uh, simple and easy it is to make this meal at your home. Yes. Uh, and how quick it is. So this is basically you're gonna have this. This is a food you're gonna make on demand. Anytime you want it, any hour in the night. You don't have to worry about waiting 
that the restaurant is open or closed, you just go into your refrigerator, you have your already cooked shrimp or, or any shrimp and you just cook them up quickly. The shrimp is a very quick, quick ingredients to work with because it's, it, you know, it can cook very quickly and you have all the, and you have the sauce, you can use whatever vegetables you have, you can use the pepper, the onions and, and the green pepper, but also you can, you don't have to use shrimp. You can you, you can go ahead and use any meat. You can use lamb, beef, chicken, uh, any meat you can use using the same sauce, the same process, and you would have a very tasty and quick meal. All right, so so we are going to wrap up here today at the Legend. I hope that you support us here at the Legend Cookhouse. You support the sauce business, you support the local business that's all over, and you support the Legend Restaurant Lounge in Orlando. We will be out there doing some cooking as well. Uh, as soon as the weather gets better at the Legend, uh, at, in Florida, uh, I believe we will be there in late March and April we'll be doing a variety a series of cooking show uh, using a lot of our sauces there as well so that's a wrap for today and we thank everyone for watching and hope to see you guys on our next